Hey guys, welcome back to Film Title. Today we'll talk about the most nauseating moments on Dr. Pimple Popper. Let's head into it. Number 5. The Farman's Blackheads If you can't get enough of blackhead pops, you'll love this video of extractions of a fireman's blackheads. The blackheads aren't especially large or deep compared to some of Dr. Pimple Popper's other cases, but there were tons of them throughout the patient's face for Dr. Lee to squeeze. Additionally, the patient said he'd had the blackheads for quite some time, but never knew how to remove them. Dr. Lee explained because the patient was a firefighter. Working in the suit and ash likely contributed to the number of blackheads on on his face. Dr. Lee got to work with her trusty extractor and the blackheads popped quite easily. For over 10 minutes, Lee popped these blackheads and for Popaholics, it never got old. The best pops were on the neck behind the ear where there were larger blackheads in addition to whiteheads. This video may be tame compared to some of Dr. Lee's other cases, but watching blackheads pop for nearly 10 minutes was extremely satisfying to see. Number 4. The Enormous Dilated Pour of Winer This blackhead could be one of Dr. Pimple Pop Popper's biggest dilated pores of winer ever. The enormous mass sat square on a patient's forehead, and Dr. Lee almost couldn't believe how large it had gotten. Once Dr. Lee made the initial incisions, she went in with an extra large extractor to get as much of the pimple out as possible in one pop. However, she had to go in with her extractor multiple times to fully drain the pore, as this was a tough pimple to pop. So to ensure she got all the cyst out, Dr. Lee had to widen the incision and dig around to finish the procedure. After going in with extractors, scissors, and tweezers, Dr. Lee was able to finish removing the mass, and though it wasn't a satisfying one-pop removal, she was able to remove all of the cyst. Number 3. The Cheesy Cyst This cheesy cyst presented Dr. Pimple Popper with one of her most gruesome pops yet, as while it may have been a small cyst, the contents were hard to look at. Dr. Lee identified the pimple as an epidermoid cyst, which occurs when skin cells reproduce in a small space within the skin. Additionally, epidermoid cysts are often filled with wet skin cells, which gives them a cheesy texture, which may make even the most hardcore popaholics look away. Once Dr. Lee opened the cyst, she was able to get to work. Then she started popping the cheesy insides, which came out quite easily, but it was certainly a vivid image. After Dr. Lee extracted a sizable chunk of the cheesy insides, she cut the rest of the cyst out. With this extraction, Dr. Lee emphasized the importance of removing the entire cyst, including the cyst sac, so it doesn't grow back. And though this pop was satisfying, it was graphic, making it one of Dr. Pimple Popper's worst cases. Number 2. The Biggest Cyst She's Ever Seen Dr. Pimple Popper called this cyst the biggest cyst she'd ever seen and was quite shocked it had grown so large. If you blow a balloon up enough, it's going to pop, she explained. And so I'm just shocked that he has a cyst here that's blown up to this size and the balloon hasn't popped. To that end, as they do with large extractions, Lee and her team prepared to get wet during the extraction, dressing in gowns, glasses, face masks, and face shields. As soon as Dr. Lee opened up the cyst, it almost immediately began oozing. Descriptive as she is, Lee said the contents looked like oatmeal. Additionally, you could see the relief on the patient's face when Lee started draining the cyst. She said it was extremely painful, and he could immediately feel the pressure decrease when Lee opened it up. This case is one of Dr. Lee's best because of the satisfaction that came with this pop, both for the patient and for viewers at home. Number 1. The Invisible Blackhead This invisible blackhead is one of Dr. Pimple Popper's most interesting pops. Upon first look, you can't even see the pimple, so Dr. Lee pointed out to the small bump under the skin on the patient's top lip that she was removing. To the average viewer, it's almost invisible, but Lee was able to detect and extract it. Lee started by making a small incision on the bump and then widened the incision to remove the pimple. But things really got interesting when Lee began squeezing the mass, as typically the the insides of pimples are somewhat wet, comprised of old skin cells. But in this case, a small solid kidney bean-shaped mass jumped out of the skin in one swift pop. Dr. P described the mass as a little river rock and told her patient she thinks the mass was a calcified cyst, but she wasn't positive. After removing the mass, the patient was ready to get stitched up and sent on her way. But the interesting pimple make it one. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.